Hey Pisces, it's Sunny. I'm a psychic medium, Lord, and I'm here with your May 2017 reading. Keep in mind that these are general readings, and if you would like a personal reading with me, please check out my website, which is www.thesunnyglow.com. Yes. Also, I am now selling candles. If you want to check that out too, that would be awesome, and I really, really appreciate you guys for everything. Let's get into this reading, child. Um, I feel like the month of May is going to be a fairly productive month for a lot of my Pisces. There's a sense of being very busy, whether it's um, you're busy with work, you're busy with family, um, or you're even busy with cleaning. Um, I'm hearing repairs. Some of you guys may have to make a lot of repairs, whether it's um, electrical repairs, um mechanical repairs um maybe health repairs or uh, some of you guys just needing a simple pick me up you may find yourself going um to the internet for home remedies um okay i'm also picking up natural disaster for some people i guess it just depends upon your location you may find that the weather is acting more crazier than usual something about rain and flooding okay for some people really bad um, i hate to say this hurricanes hell storms um tornadoes especially in like windy areas i don't know why i'm picking up on chicago and um oh lord I don't I can't remember that area like maybe um Oklahoma like places that have a lot of like windy activity like they're prone to having tornadoes like all the time I, I see this happening a lot and also um um there's something about the beaches like the seashore like maybe um you know the water is much higher than usual um there may be something going on within the moon because the moon does control the water tides so maybe the moon is affecting things during this time i don't know um when the full moon will be or the new moon i don't keep up with astrology like that <laughs> But yeah, um, if you guys find out, I guess if you want to type it below, you definitely can. But there's going to be some sort of significance towards water and um, the moon. Some of you guys, is, uh, your intuition may be really, really strong this month. Or you may find this maybe things are going out of whack. Like there's a sense of going in circles, like repeating the same thing or you know i'm getting like insanity like constantly going through the same thing over and over again um maybe mental issues are really popping out a lot uh, like anxiety depression insomnia um some of you guys there may be an attraction to zombies um maybe you are seeing a lot of zombie movies maybe you feel like a zombie um maybe something about zombie apocalypse maybe i don't know but something and also um for those oh i hate to say this be careful of overdosing or you may hear of someone overdosing you know like when people are really high on drugs they just they look scary i'm, I'm getting this energy like maybe you're seeing this on the internet or you're seeing this in person or somebody may be seeing this within you okay um but you guys are known as the zodiac who escapes reality so just make sure you aren't escaping reality too much okay um maybe you're working a lot to escape everything that's going on within your life maybe you're drawing um if you die if you dove into drugs maybe you're doing you know more drugs um, maybe you are, you know, ignoring responsibilities, but it's something that you do that distracts you from reality in everyday life. Some of you guys may, you know, be more interested in that. Okay. Um, I'm also getting the energy where you guys are being able to see your future. 
whether this is a dream or epiphany or just a feeling or thought but a glimpse from your future will come to you i'm picking up around the six okay for some reason through the six and the 15th of may you'll be able to see your future and i feel for many of you there's going to be dreams like dreaming this i'm also getting the energy where some of you guys may take up arts and crafts and painting during this time um and something is coming clean something is coming coming to the light i do see that some of you guys may you know go into rehab whether it's you know for drugs or for depression or you may put yourself in rehab of you know just needing to repair yourself or you know needing to just help somebody else maybe you're helping somebody else who's dealing with this or you may be a nurse or cna whatever um who's helping out people who are in rehab but let's see pisces Pisces, Pisces. I'm also getting the energy of children. Maybe children will be extra sensitive this month or there's going to be a strong desire for having a child. Okay, give me five cards for May 2017 for Pisces. Okay, there's something about guilt going on for some of you guys. Um... I don't know why I'm, it's it's like going back and forth with somebody. Um, maybe there's going to be some issues with arguments as well. Also, control your emotional self whenever you can. I do feel like many of you, you're trying to find a balance within this time and you're trying to make sense of everything. Um, I feel like mornings are going to be very significant for many of you. Um, rather, it's like you're starting your day. It's the beginning of the day. And it's funny because I kept hearing begin, begin, begin. So be mindful of how you start your day. Be mindful of how you wake up. Okay, um, and pay attention to your dreams and, you know, see if your dreams are affecting your mood or if the person you're laying with is affecting you so much somehow. But, you know, don't wake up on the wrong side of the bed because this is going to carry throughout the whole day, the whole day. Okay, I'm also getting an energy of some of you guys waking up to text or calls that may really rub you the wrong way. Um, maybe my Pisces men and maybe my women, there's this sense of sending people I'm late, like I haven't gotten my period yet, or I'm pregnant, Texas, and I'm just getting this energy of like, oh, fuck, like, what do I do now? Um, I'm also, uh, picking up that many of you, this is going to be a fairly good month for you to be adaptable within your situations, okay? Um, once again, control your emotional self. I'm also picking up um, the energy. You guys are going to be really, really busy, like multitasking. Um, but it's like, finish a project before you start a new one, okay? So I do see where some of you guys may start relationships this month. I am getting a strong vibe uh towards maybe fire signs especially pi um uh, sorry especially sad tears okay um i do see where many of you you're starting new projects or you're starting new friendships and or relationships during this time um you guys just want to feel good again okay there may be some issues with energy as well but i feel like for majority of you for some reason those who have gemini within their chart or maybe like air sign um like strong strong air sign there's this sense of you like getting back up and trying again or like you just feeling good you you feeling content you know, you're feeling like things make sense now, okay? Um, some of you guys may have <clears throat> green thumbs this month, and you're planning a lot. You're paying more attention to your lawn, or you're grooming yourself. You know, you're, you're getting haircuts, you're getting your nails done, you're getting your hair done. Um, you're getting waxing, whether you're female or male. <laughs> you're just really taking care of yourself. Um, but I am seeing where many of you will start new relationships, 
All right, so be careful of you. I, many of you, you may be going back and forth with the past or, you know, the present. And I could have did this or why didn't I do that? And you know what? I wonder what would have happened if I would have did this. There's this sense of shoulda, coulda, woulda going on. Definitely. Um, and I feel for some, some of y'all, there may be somebody from the past coming back. Or you may be wondering why somebody isn't talking to you anymore or why somebody blocked you. Or you may be getting messages, you know, as from other people asking you, hey, why aren't you talking to me? What's up? What's going on? And I feel for some of you, there's this sense of you feeling sorry about letting go of something that really didn't develop all the way. I do feel for some i'm getting the energy of like embryo maybe there is miscarriage or abortion for some of y'all and you're just like oh my god like why did this happen um i'm also getting the energy of some of y'all when it comes to work or like new projects like or maybe like new appearances there's this sense of being self-conscious about it um so please be careful with this energy because I am picking up the more you focus on this insecurity or is this good enough you know I hope everybody else likes it kind of deal um it's really going to bring in a lot of paranoia it is okay um some of y'all may pay more attention to the things that aren't working within your life and you're just like you have this Virgo energy of like fixing it and picking at it and picking at it and picking at it and it's just like, child, come on, come on. Just don't put yourself through that torment, Pisces, all right? So I do feel where many of you, you just want to be prepared for things. That's honestly what I'm seeing. And many of y'all just want to get ahead. And you're willing to do whatever it takes to get ahead, okay? there's Okay, there's a song playing in my head. I'm six feet from the edge and I'm thinking maybe six feet is so far down. I think it's by Creed. Um, so you guys may be, you know, looking at your next stage within life or maybe you're looking at your lows, but it's something that you are really paying attention to and it's just like, is it worth it? Am I good enough for it? Um, I am seeing where you guys definitely need to let go of the past during this time. I do see where this month is going to be good for those who are very creative. Um, you have creative type jobs, um, painted painters, artists, maybe even people who are in social media or people, um, actors as well. There's a sense of expression. So do be mindful of how you express yourself during this time as well. I'm also getting the energy of um like cliffhanger like just like there's this suspense upon something like you're waiting for something to happen but then it doesn't come in on time um some of you guys may be watching a lot of shows where they end drastically um and it, something is undone something isn't finished that song by corn undone is playing in my head um maybe some of you guys are shedding your old skin during this time a lot a lot of wands um i do feel like this month is going to bring many of you hope and guidance and good news especially in regards to career and making things happen i feel like what's really going to be the downfall for y'all is you being too much into your head and maybe you relying and really thinking about past situations especially if they didn't work um but yeah, being in your head isn't going to be your best friend. I do see where there's going to be focus on the children and just, you know, either, like I said, wanting to have a child or just wanting to be there for the child, wanting to feel important towards that child. Um, many of there's talks of new love, definitely new love coming in. And I feel like this person may be younger than you, but this person or you may be playing some mind games during this time. So if you find that you are chasing after somebody, um, you, you may be a little hurt. Okay. I do see a lot of distractions this month as well. So just prepare yourself for those distractions and understand like, I need to get my shit done. Okay. I need to get my shit done. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, 
the outcome of May 2017 for Pisces. The outcome of May 2017 for Pisces. The Six of Pentacles. Uh, material and spiritual prosperity. You guys are definitely getting a glimpse upon something whether you're getting a glimpse upon your future or you're getting a glimpse or same thing upon a certain situation like the outcome upon a certain situation whatever you ask for whatever you want to see your divine god and angels will allow for that to come to you i do see where many of you you just want to just relax some of you all may be um over something about you on a balcony whether you're on vacation or you're at your home but you're on your balcony and there's this sense of i did it like some of you all may feel like royalty like you're a king or queen and the common folk <laughs> are below you and they're waving at you some of you all may feel this sense of empowerment by being on a balcony and you know overlooking uh your surroundings but there's this sense of you elevating yourself to understand your next move within life some of y'all that maybe talk some moving um i want to say something else but i really really forgot um i really forgot oh my gosh oh my gosh i do see where there's a sense of some people going out uh to formal events and you're like dressing up really really nice um but i'm also seeing where Many of y'all have really good things up your sleeves, and I do see great accomplishments for majority of my Pisces. Whether it's other people congratulating you or you're congratulating yourself because you know that you made it. Okay? But hopefully you guys enjoyed this reading. Good luck with everything. And I shall be back for... What's after May? June. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.